Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create a simple puzzle game for kids where a player has to drag and drop a picture into a correct slot. So, if dragged picture goes to correct position, then it stays at that place, otherwise it returns to its initial position. Here is our new empty project. Let's begin. First I add a background sprite and reset its transform. Next game object will be a bear. I set its order in layer to 5, so it will be rendered in front of the background. Next game object is bear place, which represents a place where our bear should be dropped. Order and layer for this game object will be 3, so it will be rendered in front of the background and behind the bear. Now let's position our bear about at the left bottom center. Bear place will be at the top right corner, like so. To detect finger touch, our animal game objects need a collider, so let's add a box collider to decompose to the bear. Also, to control our animals, we will use C-sharp scripts. Bear script will be used for bear. Let's take a look at this script. First, here we have a reference to bear place game object that will hold the position of that place. Next variable is initial position, to which our bear will return if it isn't dropped at the right place. Next two variables are delta x and delta y. We need these variables to calculate an offset between the center of bear game object and touch position. Without this offset, our bear game object will jump towards touch position if we touch this bear a bit far away from its center. Next variable is boolean locked that will become true when our bear is dropped at correct place. In start method, we mark bear's initial position and then the rest of the magic happens in update method. So if input touch count is greater than zero, which means that we touch the screen with the finger and if our bear is not locked already, then we initialize and assign touch variable that will hold information about this particular touch event. Using this touch variable, we get a position of our touch. Then in switch statement, we go through some possible touch phases. So if current touch phase equals to begin, which means that we just touch the screen, then we check if bear game object's box collider overlaps this position of our touch, which means that we actually touch the bear. Then we calculate an offset between touch position and the center of bear game object to use this offset later on for more accurate and smooth dragging. If touch phase equals to moved, which means that we are moving the finger by the screen, then we set bear game object position to be equal to current touch position depending on that offset. Finally, if touch phase equals to ended, which means that finger is released, then we check where it happens. If it happens at the moment, when center of the bear game object is located near enough, within 0.5 units from the center of bear place position, then we set bear position to be equal to bear place position. And also we set locked to true, so we will not be able to move our bear anymore, because we found the correct place for it already. And else, if the center of the bear is not located within 0.5 units area, then it goes back to its initial position to have a chance to find his correct place one more time. That's the script. Drag and drop the script to bear game object, select bear and drag and drop bear place game object into corresponding slot of bear script component. Ok, next game objects will be a koala and koala place. Order and layer for koala will be 5, order and layer for koala place will be 3. Let's position our koala at the bottom center. Koala place will be positioned at the top left corner. Koala also will have a box collider 2D and it will be controlled with the script named Koala. This script is exactly the same as the bear script, with the only difference that here we use Koala place variable to determine correct position for our Koala to drag and drop to. The rest of the code is absolutely the same. Drag and drop Koala script to Koala game object. Select Koala and drag and drop Koala place game object into corresponding slot of Koala script component. There we go. Now let's add our last animal and its place. It is a hair. Hair is behind the background. Changing its order and layer to 5 will solve this issue. And here is a hair place. Order and layer will be 3. Position our hair at the bottom right corner. Hair place will be at the top center. As well as our other animals, the hair will have a box collider to the component. And it will be controlled by the script named hair. I'm sure that you've got already that the script has the similar code with the two other scripts. The difference is in the hair place variable here and here. Drag and drop the script to hair, select hair and drag and drop hair place game object into corresponding slot of hair script component. Ok, 
Almost done. Now let's create win sign that will appear when the puzzle is completed. Create new UI text and once a canvas is created, set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Now let's get back to our text game object. Double click it to focus on it. Here it is. I rename it as win text and modify its text field so it will show you win sign. I like chunk 5 font family so I will use it in this project. Make font size bigger, set alignment change font color, make text container bigger, so text becomes visible and position it about here. There we go. Ok, final step is to create new empty game object that will control our game a bit. Create new empty and rename it as game control. This game object will have a script named game control, which is pretty simple. Here we have win text reference, which will be assigned in inspector to turn win text on and off. In start method, it's set to inactive state and becomes invisible. In update method, we check if locked variables of bear, koala and hair scripts are set to true. As you remember, we set them to true when an animal is dropped in correct slot. For the reason to be accessible from game control script, locked variable has public static properties. So when all of these variables are set to true, then it's obvious that the puzzle is completed and we can turn win sign on, setting win text game object to active state. That's the script. Drag and drop the script to game control, select game control and drag and drop win text game object into corresponding slot of game control script component. That's it, game is ready. Now we can create an APK file and test our game on Android device. This is how it works on mine. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.